Hello dear students hope you all are safe and fine and very eager to study today's lesson today we shall study lesson 16 of science that is garbage in garbage out for class 6th but dear children before we begin with the lesson i would like to ask you some simple questions related to this chapter and you try to answer these questions so your first question is in which kind of packets do you bring back home various things that you have purchased from the market you would answer that mostly we bring back our belongings packed in plastic bags now the question arises that what do you do with these plastic bags and most probably you would answer that you throw them in the dustbins children now tell me that where do you throw the waste or the garbage generated at your home every day again you would answer that you throw it in the dustbin safai karmacharis then take this garbage from the bins but do you know that where does this garbage go and what happens to it after this yes children this is the topic of discussion in our today's lesson today we will learn and discuss about how to deal with the garbage then we will study about vermi composting next we shall talk about recycling of paper and then disposal of non biodegradable waste and towards the end of the lesson we will discuss about a very important topic that whether use of plastics is a boon or a curse for mankind so let us first of all discuss about the waste disposal in detail deepak one day noticed that the fish living in the pond near his house were dying one after the other he then tried to find the reason behind this and was very sad to find that the garbage thrown by the people in the pond was actually responsible for the deaths so deepak thought that to save the life on earth proper management and disposal of waste is very essential and deepak wanted to know how this can be done so children along with deepak let us try to understand that how proper management and disposal of waste is done we generate so much of garbage in our day to day activities waste things and the things which are no more used generate the garbage like domestic waste sewage flow industrial waste packaging material broken and old vehicles old televisions waste from the parks old tin cans etc the garbage can be categorized into biodegradable waste and the non biodegradable waste garbage from the kitchen like fruits and vegetable peels fall in the category of biodegradable waste while plastic glass tin etc can be categorized as non biodegradable waste children let us now see how the biodegradable waste is disposed of when we peel off a vegetable or a fruit then it is very necessary that these peels should be thrown in the dustbin because any waste if left in the open attracts flies and mosquitoes here children i need not tell you that 
flies and mosquitoes means an invitation to numerous diseases. So, this waste must be disposed of properly. Let us now discuss various methods of waste disposal. Children, here we will study mainly about three different methods of waste disposal. They are composting, vermicomposting and recycling of paper. Composting Safai Karamcharis collect the garbage in trucks and take it to a low-lying open area called a landfill. Here, the garbage is separated out into useful and non-useful components. The non-useful part of the garbage is spread over the landfill and then covered with a layer of soil. To deal with the useful components of the garbage, compost making areas are developed near the landfill. Children, do you know what is a compost? Compost is a black colored material which is formed by the complete decay and decomposition of waste material and it does not have any odor. It is a type of manure which is used by the plants. The rotting and conversion of some materials into manure is called composting. Children, now we will discuss about vermicomposting that is the other method of waste disposal. Do you know that vermicomposting is also a type of composting? And children, do you have any idea that earthworms are called the farmer's friends? Let us find out how a type of earthworm called the redworms is used for composting. This method of preparing compost with the help of redworms is called vermicomposting. Redworms do not have teeth. They have a structure called gizzard which helps them in grinding their food. Redworms do not survive in very hot or very cold surroundings. They need moisture all around them. Let us now understand the process of vermicomposting that is how compost is prepared by the red worms. For this dig a pit in an open ground or keep a wooden box at a place which is neither too hot nor too cold. Spread a net or chicken mesh at the bottom of the pit or the box. Now spread some dry leaves, pieces of dried stalks of plants, husk or pieces of newspaper on the mesh or the net used. Sprinkle some water to make this layer wet. Now put some red worms in your pit or the box and Cover them loosely with a gunny bag or an old sheet of cloth or even a layer of grass will do. Now fill the pit with vegetable or fruit waste, coffee and tin remains and weeds from the field of your garden. After some days you will find some change in the pit. After about 3-4 weeks you can see loose soil-like material ready in the pit. This is actually the vermicompost. You can use this excellent vermicompost in your pots, gardens or fields. Children, let us now see how recycling of paper is done. For this, I would like you all to perform an activity with me. So shall we start children? For this we will require pieces of old newspapers, 
magazines, used envelopes and used notebooks. We will also need a frame fitted with a wire mesh or a net. Children, you can also use a large sized sieve in place of this frame. Now tear all the papers you have taken into pieces. Put them in a tub or a bucket and pour some water in it. Let the pieces of paper remain soaked in water for a day. You will notice that the paper has changed to a thick paste like material. Now spread this wet paste on the net of the sieve that you have taken. Pat it gently to make the thickness of the layer of the paste as uniform as possible. Wait till the entire water drains off. Now carefully remove this layer out from the sieve and spread it on a sheet of newspaper in the sun. Pin the corners of the newspaper so that these do not curl up and spoil your sheet of paper. Let this paste dry in the sun for some time. You can add food color, pieces of dry leaves or flower petals or pieces of colored paper in the paste before spreading it. This will help you to get recycled paper with beautiful patterns. Now the beautiful recycled paper is ready with you. So children, is this not a very easy and an interesting way for management and disposal of waste paper? Children, let us now study about the disposal of non-biodegradable waste. Toys, shoes, bags, pens, combs, toothbrushes, buckets, bottles, etc. are all made up of plastic. Plastic is a non-biodegradable product which cannot be decomposed easily and at the same time creates a big problem in its disposal. All kind of plastics give out harmful gases upon heating or burning. You must have noticed that people often fill garbage in plastic bags and then throw it away. When stray animals look for food in these bags, they end up swallowing these. Sometimes they even die due to the swallowing of plastic bags. Not only this, these plastic bags thrown away carelessly on roads get into the drains and the sewer system and blocks them. So children, does this all not compels us to think that we should minimize the overuse of plastics. Here are some suggestions which will help us to deal with the plastic waste. Make minimum possible use of plastic bags and reuse them wherever possible. Next, insist shopkeepers to use paper bags and as far as possible carry a cloth or jute bag with you when you go out for shopping. Do not use plastic bags to store eatables. Do not throw plastic bags here and there after use. Avoid burning plastic bags and other plastic items so that it does not pollute our environment. Children, let us conclude our chapter with a quick revision. Today we have learned that useless and waste products generate the garbage. Then we learned 
Waste or garbage is of two types, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Next, we learned disposal of waste can be done by various methods like composting, vermicomposting and recycling of paper. Fruit and vegetable peels form the biodegradable waste and can be used for making compost. Plastic is a non-biodegradable product, so its use should be minimized. All kind of plastics give out harmful gases on burning, which pollute our environment. Children, now I will ask you some questions and I hope you will be able to answer them all correctly. So, are you ready to answer the questions? Here is your first question. You have to fill in the blank spaces with the correct answer. The first one. The area where the city's garbage is dumped is called dash. Fill in the blank with the correct answer. I am repeating it. The area where the city's garbage is dumped is called dash. Yes, children, the correct answer is that area is called landfill. The next one. The process of conversion of kitchen waste into compost is called dash. And the correct answer is vermicomposting. The next one. We need to minimize the production of dash. Fill the blank with the correct answer. And the correct answer is waste. Next one. Burning of dash produces harmful gases. And the correct answer is plastic. Burning of plastic produces harmful gases. Your next question children. How is recycling of paper done? Tear the paper into pieces, then soak them in water to make paste. Now we can get a recycled paper from this paste. Now your last question. Tell me children, what is the difference between composting and vermicomposting? In the process of composting, waste is converted to compost. Vermicomposting is also a type of composting, but the only difference is that in vermicomposting, waste is converted to compost, but with the help of red worms. And these red worms are not used in composting. So with this, we come to the end of our today's lesson that is garbage in, garbage out. I hope children, you all found this lesson interesting, meaningful and enjoyable. Thank you.